Um, uh, mostly with our youth theatre, uh, from New Zealand and from England uh, and from Russia. Though thus far our Russian uh, directors have brought their own shows with them. We're hoping to have a Russian director come and work with us at the Youth Theater. If not, if not as a director, then as a teacher. Um, and I'm certain that will eventually happen. And this year, um, We'll also be bringing um, the uh, Sakhalin International Theatrical Chekhov Center production of True West to Alaska. And uh, they will be doing some workshops there, the actors and the director. Mm -hmm. uh, but not directing full-length plays yet. Uh, in the future, though, I'm certain of it. Mm -hmm. Well, our spectators are greatly interested in the things you do at your university in Alaska. We heard you are a director, a professor. Well, Say a few words about it. Um, I'm on the faculty at the University of Alaska Anchorage, where I've worked for 20 years. I've uh, done everything for the department, from stage management to, to stage properties building. I've been chairman of the department. Uh, I was able to help build a, a brand new building that I'm very, very proud of and happy to work in. I've directed probably 60 plays in the last 20 years there, both on campus and sometimes in the community. Sometimes for professional companies. But most of my time has been spent at the university. And my career is split between directing and teaching. Very occasionally I get to act. And uh, I I truly enjoy those opportunities. I've been able to do uh, Cyrano de Bergerac with my students. I was able to do uh, a play called I Hate Hamlet this last fall. Uh, another play in which I get to wield a sword which is, my teaching specialty is fighting for this theater. So I'm very happy when I have an opportunity to take my skills onto the, onto the stage. And not, not just in the studio. Um, I like it where I work. Perhaps the best thing about the University of Alaska Anchorage is that it has allowed me to travel. Uh, 
and supported me in my work with Russia. And I'm certain I'll be coming back to this country again. Not just once, but probably many times. Are you here for the first time in Russia? Oh no, this is my sixth trip to Russia. Um, the play that I mentioned earlier, Nastoyash Zapat, uh, was directed by me in Yuzhno Sahalinsk. That was two years ago. That performance toured here for the Habarovsk 100 Years of Theater Festival. And that's when I met Alexander Sosida and Galina and several others, Valodia as well. And at that time, uh, Alexander and Valodia and several other people asked me about coming back and directing another shepherd piece. And the play they were interested in was this one. Fool for Love. And here I am. In the meantime, I went to Moscow last November. When Nastoyashi Zapat played there at the Moscow Art Theater. A tremendous, tremendous, exciting moment for me. The Moscow Art Theater is as famous in America as it is here. And my opportunity to put something of my work on Stanislavski's stage uh, was beyond my wildest expectations. So, this is my sixth trip. Not my last. Well, you work with American actors, you also work with Russian actors. Whom can you trust more? It depends on the individual actor and not the nationality. It depends on the style of the piece and how comfortable the actors are in dealing with that style. My approach is to create trust and then to encourage it and to uh, feed it through the entire rehearsal process with most actors that's entirely enough that's entirely enough mm -hmm. with some actors nothing will ever be enough but again, that has nothing to do with nationality. It has to do with the personality and the appetites of the individual performer. We have a song, a Russian song, and there are words Alaska and Siberia mm -hmm. are two sides or two shores of one ocean. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that we are close to each other, people from the Far East and people of Alaska, probably because it's cold there and it's cold here. We share many things, not just the cold, the ocean, yes, but the trees, the, the, the various uh, 
uh, flowers. It's all very familiar to me here. Um, there are some trees you have we don't have. There are some we have you don't have. But most everything is very familiar. And the people are just as warm as hospitable as eager to make friends as I found Alaskans to be when I moved there 20 years ago. And, and as I try to be myself given, given that example. Mm -hmm. How many students do you have graduates every year uh, well, it, well who take course of directing every one of our majors is required to take at least one directing course so um, how many but how many we have graduating depends on how many came to school any given time so we graduate probably between five and twelve people a given year Ну, от 5 до 12 человек каждый год. Все дело в том, что зависит от того, сколько пришло на этот факультет. It's a small program. We never have more than around 60 majors. Очень мало студентов приходит на это. So it means they get lots of hands-on work. У них очень много других там курсов. Но каждый, кто приходит на театральное отделение, обязательно должен пройти курс режиссуры. Uh, will all of them find jobs and work as directors? No. Yeah. No. We teach uh, a liberal arts bachelor's degree. Мы преподаем, и в результате нашего образования они получают степень бакалавра. In the theater in general. Это степень бакалавра вообще в области театральной деятельности. So all of our students have to study acting. All of them have to study design. All of them have to study directing. Some of them can take and will take more than more than, more courses than are minimally necessary. And then, following our four-year course. Those that want to be professionals most often go to a graduate program. We have students who've gone on to Pennsylvania State University, to the University of Illinois, to the uh, uh, Florida State University, to uh, Delaware, uh, to Yale. We have a directing student in Yale's graduate program right now. That I don't, I don't, I don't know if that means anything to you. But that's very, very special. We got one in. Mm -hmm. okay. Our students who want to go on to graduate school have been extremely fortunate and uh, have all of them have received uh, scholarships and opportunities to teach or to do work at that university. So their, ed their education has been free and they've been paid. And those that have completed graduate work, like most of us in this profession, work when work is there, and work at finding work when the work isn't there. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a little different in my country than here. There are few opportunities for an artist to attach themselves to one theater and stay there for a career. 
especially the actors. More often than not, they're hired for one season or even just one or two shows. So they're always traveling from theater to theater to theater, trying to make a living. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult, difficult life. If you make it big, though, mm -hmm. it's a comfortable life. If you're a success on Broadway, or if you get a, get go to Hollywood, get picked up by film, television, then we know you could make a lot of money and be very rich and famous. Mm -hmm. But many people choose to remain in the live theater because that's where the art is most satisfying to them. And I think that's the same in your country as mine. Not long ago there was a movie, the name of it is To Die For, mm -hmm. an American movie. Mm -hmm. Nicole Kidman. Yes, mm -hmm. Nicole Kidman. I saw it. Mm -hmm. On video. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that if you, if a person finds himself on TV, all of a sudden he's so important. Mm -hmm. And there is a fight between theater and cinema. Mm-hmm. Does this uh, contradiction of fight or competition mm -hmm. exist? Oh, sure. Between theater and sure. cinema in the States. Sure. Um, uh, among people who do one or the other. People who successfully do both and are happy doing both. I don't, I don't think the competition bothers them in that regard at all. The competition really is for box office, okay? Mm -hmm. That's everything. My theater holds 300 seats, say. I can put 300 people in it a night. The actors all have to be well and healthy every night. They all have to be in a good mood. Everything has to be just the way it's supposed to be. A film, you, you put the film in the camera, you take the picture, the editor edits it, the director cuts it, you stick it into 150,000 different venues every night with millions of people, all of whom are paying six, seven dollars to go see that film, and the money keeps rolling in. And what happens in my country, and I think increasingly in your country, is that your value depends on how much money you can bring in, or how great a celebrity you are. Nicole Kidman's film is about celebrity. It's about becoming more important than you are because the box grants you importance, even as the screen grants you importance, or to a lesser degree, being allowed to be on the stage grants you importance. Um, but the real, the real competition is for a living. I can make so much money making a movie. I can make more money making a movie in five weeks than I can make in an entire year of acting theater to theater to theater, even if I'm getting paid well. Mm -hmm. 
они должны играть, все должны быть на месте. И в кассу поступает столько денег, сколько пришло зрителей. Это колоссальный труд. И каждый раз эти деньги надо заработать. Yeah. В кино actors now who can command 20 million dollars в банку закладывается кинолента делается тиражирование очень много копий рассылается везде и каждая приносит деньги 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 то есть кино имеет возможность получать как можно больше денег по сравнению с театром а самое печальное то что как и в нашей стране так и в вашей стране Почему-то стало так, что если у тебя много денег, то ты и хорош. И зависит от того, сколько... Почему-то все смотрят на то, кассовый фильм или спектакль, или нет. И второй момент. Это в стране ты приобретаешь какую-то знаменитость, и тебя уважают, если у тебя много денег, или ты стал знаменитостью. И вот фильм, как раз о котором вы сказали, это фильм о знаменитости, о том, как все переворачивается у него в жизни из-за того, что он вдруг становится знаменитым. The big problem happens, I think, when theater tries to be film. Самая большая проблема, мне кажется, возникает тогда, когда театр пытается соревноваться и победить кино. And it can do it in two directions. One is it makes everything so grittily real that no one wants to watch it. Это можно сделать двумя путями. Театр становится очень реальным. Настолько реальным, что никто не хочет смотреть. Or, like Andrew Lloyd Webber's work, Cats, Evita, uh, The Phantom of the Opera, it becomes nothing but spectacle. Или uh, второй путь, когда все становится таким красочным, театральным, красивым на сцене, чтобы привлечь зрителей, в результате появляются на сцене кошки, любимые животные, красота неописуемая. And both of those things are what the film does better. Но фильм и то и другое делает лучше. The film can come in, get this close, see the pores in your skin, see your eyelashes. This is real. This is real. Может показать лицо, может показать поры на Or the film can pull back and show you battles in space or the Grand Canyon. Lake Baikal, uh, right? We don't have any business doing that in the theater. It's not what we do. Okay. But people increasingly try to do it to draw people into the theater. Because we're competing for their money and their time. Um, Несмотря на то, что фильм по, э, по экшену, по действию, по краскам, по завораживости, по сюжету много превосходит театральное действие, все же люди почему-то идут в театр. Вот как вы считаете, что же в театре есть, э, что, в чем тот секрет театра, э, который все-таки э, заманивает зрителей в зал? Well, films, they have more action. Mm -hmm. They can be more real or more spectacular, mm -hmm. but still theater exists, and more than that, it attracts people. What is there in the theater that attracts people? Okay. What says for what secret? This is, this is probably the last question I can answer because and I've got to go. We have an appointment, but it's a good question. The thing that makes the theater absolutely special is that it happens right now. It has what we call immediacy. I'm breathing the same air that the audience is breathing. I'm feeling the same temperature. I can feel them breathe. I hear them if they cry. They hear me breathe. They hear me if I cry. So we begin to breathe together. We cry together. We love together. We fight together. And together we have an experience that 
that you cannot have in a film. That actor does not feel you from the screen. Nothing I can do in the audience is going to change Nicole Kidman's performance one iota. She will never be better than she was yesterday. She will be just that forever. I will be a different person tomorrow. The audience will be different. The play will be different. And we will all celebrate ourselves together. It creates community. Creates community between and among the celebrants and the priests. Тот, кто пришел сюда, слушает проповедь и проповедник. То есть, я хочу сказать, провести параллель, что театр — это центр. И всегда была в церкви. Окей. Okay. Okay.